final product I want to talk about here is, is actually uses the same internals as our easy mount battery switch, uh, but it's what we refer to as our standard mount battery switch. So this is, this is what we consider a, a more conventional style of switch. So we can see here we've got, got our actuator on the front and we have the studs coming out, out the back. The, what this switch style offers in our standard range is the fact that we can do three mounting styles with it. So we can still surface mount it like the easy mount, but it, it's just not quite as easy. Um, or we can actually panel mount it. We can put it on the front of the panel like this, or we can actually bring it through from the rear of the panel like that. So three mounting styles, uh, a full range of products. We'll do on off, the selector, selector version, and then this particular switch here, which is our new dual bank control switch. This has been specifically designed for having independent batteries that are specifically suited to their task. So on the uh, circuit diagram here, we have a dedicated house battery which is specifically suited to the house loads. We have a dedicated engine starting battery which is specifically suited to the engine, engine starting loads. The way we normally run them, like in the diagram here, is we just turn 90 degrees on and then both of these are uh, connected to their loads but they're isolated so there's no connection between the two sides. This is our normal running position. If you say to someone, go and turn the switch on, we've got a red off position, a green on position, that's your normal run position. What this switch does have, it has, has a, two other positions on it. So if, if for example, we had a flat uh, starting battery and we needed to provide some extra power, we can come around to this parallel position here connect the batteries together and then get our engine started. Once we had the engine started we'd then go back to our normal running position and that would be fine. Our other position on here is a unique position which is a safety position. Some switches on the market have offered three positions but not this fourth which we've always said is, is, un, is unsafe. This position allows us, if we have a problem with our engine, then maybe the, the starter motor has got an issue on it and we need to isolate the engine. Unless, unless we had this position, we'd actually have to turn everything off. Then we wouldn't be able to make an emergency radio call. With this position here, we can actually turn our engine off, but actually leave our house battery connected. We can make our emergency radio call, someone can come and give us a tow home. Alternatively, a, a great use of it is if you're servicing the engine. You know, you're servicing, servicing an engine with an uh, inboard powered boat, you can have lighting on there, you might have your radio on, and also the, be the beer's getting cold in the fridge. The, the big advantages is it gives you very strong functionality with one battery switch. A lot of, lot of connections all in one place, only one switch to install, limited number of connections, but with ex extreme amount of functionality. So dual bank control switch, moving forwards. So the switches all use with the easy mount, this is a, an easy mount switch here, they all use the common internal parts, so high quality copper, a 400 amp continuous power range and 1500 amps as a, as a cranking power. It's an industry standard footprint that means that often you can replace an existing battery switch and these switches will fit back into exactly the same, same space making it easy as, a, as an aftermarket replacement. <laughs>